Hi friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I am doing a video response to um, an email I got today and it says, uh, Hi Bev, ever hear of this? Um, it's called Prusiate, Prusiate or Prusiate, Prusiate, I can't even pronounce it. Prusiate, it's spelt like Prussia with a T-E on the end. Prusiate of soda. Ever hear of this? It's a flaking agent, and I, I actually think it's an anti-caking agent. Uh, in salt, I bought some Mediterranean sea salt from my fish aquarium, killed my fish. Turns out it is a cyanide compound, not stated on the label. Like you're supposed to know that the pro what the product really contains. Okay. Um, since you're the flag bearer on food label reading and chief whistleblower on all bad guys, thanks, Ken, um, I thought you might look into this and pass the word along. I'm not angry yet, just very, very sad. And Ken, I totally, totally get that. If, if I lost fish because of, or animals of any kind because of, of mislabeling, or lack of information on a label, I'd be really upset too. So here's what I have found out. Let me just see if I can um, pull this up. Um, this here, uh, I looked up yellow um, prussiate or prussiate of soda, and I got this um, from the Code of Federal Regulations, Title 21 Food and Drugs. And I, I, I'm assuming this is this is the U.S. And it says here, Food and Drug Administration, Department of Health and Human Services, continued. Subchapter E, Animal Drugs, Feeds, and Related Products. Food, uh, part seven, or 573, Food Additives Permitted in Feed and Drinking Water of Animals. Um, subpart B, Food Additive Listing. Uh, five seven three point one zero two zero. Like, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to navigate this kind of crap? Yellow prussiate of soda. Yellow prussiate of soda, also known as, because it's in brackets, sodium ferrocyanide decahydrate. I think I actually said that right. May be safely used as an anti-caking agent in salt for animal consumption at a level not to exceed 13 parts per million. The additive contains a minimum of 99% by weight of sodium ferrocyanide decahydrate. Okay, now I put sodium ferrocyanide decahydrate in my uh, search bar and this is what I got. This is a material safety data sheet and this is from a science lab, okay? This is www.sciencelab.com, okay? And this is a material safety data sheet. Sodium ferrocyanide MSDS. Uh, product names, uh, sodium ferrocyanide. Catalog codes, contact information. Uh, you may want to you may want the contact information to double check this sciencelab.com inc 14025 smith road houston texas 77396 um and that's that oh chem trek 24 hour emergency telephone call 1-800-424-9300 ken you may want to call that number and ask about your fish but the interesting part here is uh, composition, sodium ferrocyanide, toxicological data on ingredients, not available. However, section three says hazards identification, potential acute health effects, extremely hazardous in case of ingestion. Hazardous in case of skin contact, it's an irritant, uh, or of eye contact, or in inhalation. Now remember, this is only 13 parts per million. This is the full dose. But it doesn't change the fact that it says potential acute health effects. Potential chronic health effects, and chronic means repetitive or it keeps coming back. 
extremely hazardous in the case of ingestion, hazardous in the case of skin contact, irritant of eye contact, irritant of inhalation. Carcinogenic effects not available. So they, they can't tell you whether it's a carcinogen or not. Muta, mute, mutagenic effects. That sounds like mutation. I don't know. That's just me. Not available. Teratogenic effects, not available. Developmental toxicity, not available. The substance is toxic to blood, lungs, mucous membranes. Repeated or prolonged exposure to the substance can produce target organs damage. Okay, yada, 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 yada. So, you may want to look that up. Do you hear that? I live in the country, okay? I'm in my house with one window open. And that just went down my road. Talk about... Now, you people... It's no wonder I bug out to the hunting camp. Anyway, you may want to look up uh, www.sciencelab.com and put in the search bar sodium ferrocyanide MSDS. Now, I am not a scientist, and I am not a health um, professional of any kind, but I'm going to say anything put in our food that comes up under material data safety sheet as toxic, that's just wrong. And kosher salt, too, eh? You may want to um, look into buying rock sea salt, okay? Uh, because there's no need for it to have an anti-caking agent. It's like, looks like rock salt that you'd put on your roads, only it's sea salt. And I use it in a, I put it in a pepper grinder. And that's, that's, um, I use that for my table salt. But I have a feeling I may have to buy it in bulk and start grinding it. Because I looked on the back of my sea salt box and it said, it didn't say yellow pressate of soda, which kind of sounds really cute compared to sodium ferrocyanide. Um, but the sodium ferrocyanide is in my sea salt as well. So thanks for the heads up, Ken. And uh, gee, you know, I'm really sorry to hear about your fish. Anyway, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I hope that answers your question. And folks, just because they say it's safe for us to eat, if it kills your fish in your aquarium, I'm going to say it's toxic. Have a good day.